Can innovation save our oceans? The Pacific Garbage Patch is growing by the day, but engineers and scientists are racing to fight back with drones, ocean skimmers, and AI-driven solutions. Will it be enough? Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more on how tech is reshaping our planet. The future of ocean cleanup might already be here. One, a man-made crisis demands man-made solutions. The Pacific Garbage Patch formed from decades of careless waste and global mismanagement. Floating between Hawaii and California, it collects millions of tons of plastic debris yearly. Now the question is urgent. Can technology undo the damage that human industry has created? With manual cleanups proving slow and costly, innovators look to machines for faster solutions. Artificial intelligence, robotics, and ocean engineering are being tested in multiple projects. Every year we wait. The patch grows larger and more toxic for marine life and global fisheries. Traditional efforts cannot keep pace, prompting new inventions and smart collection systems. Two, ocean cleanup systems promise or pipe dream. The Ocean Cleanup Project is the most well-known tech initiative targeting this plastic crisis. Its massive floating barriers corral plastic using natural currents and passive engineering. Initial trials faced setbacks, including system breaks and difficulties retaining collected waste. Despite early failures, newer models like System 03 now show improved collection efficiency. Over 100,000 kilograms of plastic have been removed, but millions still remain. The scale of the patch makes full cleanup a monumental task even for robust mechanical systems. Deployment requires ships, fuel, maintenance, and weather cooperation for successful missions. 3. Drones and aerial surveillance to map the patch. Drones are being used to track plastic movement and monitor changes in the garbage patch size. Satellite-linked systems gather data on plastic hotspots invisible to ships or human divers. Machine learning interprets images, helping researchers identify trends in plastic concentration. With real-time mapping, cleanup crews can better plan efficient collection and resource use. Aerial monitoring also helps detect illegal dumping zones that contribute to patch expansion. These tech eyes in the sky reduce guesswork and make targeted cleanup far more effective. Thermal imaging and multispectral scans can even spot microplastics below water surfaces. Four. Robotics dive into plastic-choked waters. Autonomous underwater robots are being tested to collect submerged plastics missed by surface tools. These machines can navigate deep zones where microplastics drift beneath the visible layers. Outfitted with suction arms and filtration units, they trap waste without harming marine life. Robots reduce diver risk and can work for long hours in extreme or remote conditions. Some models even carry sensors to detect toxins, oil films, and synthetic fibers in real time. They explore sunken nets, plastic-coated reefs, and fishing lanes heavy with ghost gear. Early versions are costly, but new innovations are making them smaller and more affordable. 5. River barriers to stop plastic before it reaches oceans. Many innovators argue the patch is not the core problem river waste inflow is the true issue. Tech startups now focus on placing barriers at river mouths to capture plastic before escape. Projects like the Interceptor by Ocean Cleanup float in major rivers across Asia and Africa. These devices use conveyor belts and booms to redirect trash into automated storage containers. Powered by solar panels, they operate 24-7 without fuel, capturing tons of waste per week. They block thousands of pounds of plastic before it ever reaches ocean gyres or marine zones. Early installations in rivers like the Klang, Mekong, and Ganges show promising plastic recovery. 6. Plastic-eating enzymes and biotechnology hope. New breakthroughs in biotechnology have uncovered enzymes that break down plastics naturally. These enzymes digest polymers like polyethylene and PET in hours instead of centuries. Scientists engineer microbes to release them safely in landfills, recycling centers, or test sites. If applied carefully, they could someday help treat plastic patches without human labor. Biotech firms race to patent organisms that can clean plastic without damaging marine systems. Early trials focus on breaking microplastic bonds to prevent toxic buildup in water chains. 7. Artificial intelligence optimizes ocean response. AI now plays a role in everything from cleanup logistics to predicting patch growth rates. Algorithms analyze ocean currents, seasonal shifts, and waste influx to model plastic flows. This forecasting lets crews plan routes, deploy tech, 
and measure effectiveness in real time. AI helps identify which plastics to collect first based on weight, density, or chemical risk. It automates sorting processes aboard vessels, boosting efficiency and reducing human labor. Machine learning also aids in tracking shipping routes that may be dumping plastic illegally. AI integrated systems send alerts when debris density spikes in critical fishing or tourist areas. This smart layer of technology ensures every cleanup effort is guided by hard data, not guesswork. It is technology enough without policy and people? No matter how advanced, technology cannot succeed without human will and political support. Many ocean cleanup tools lie idle due to red tape, lack of funding, or poor cross-border plans. Clean oceans require more than machines, they need education, public pressure, and strong laws. Tech works best when supported by bans on plastic bags, exports, and single-use packaging. Corporations must be held accountable for their plastic footprints with penalties and incentives. Waste management must be upgraded in every country feeding the plastic crisis from land. Even the best robots cannot reverse pollution if the faucet of new waste is never turned off. 9. The risk of over-reliance on technology. There is a danger in thinking machines will clean up after our consumption with no effort from us. If society depends entirely on gadgets, we may continue polluting without changing behavior. Some view tech as a license to delay hard conversations about waste, profit, and responsibility. Over-reliance could lead to underfunding prevention or ignoring less exciting cleanup methods. It may shift focus away from low-cost community projects that are already making an impact. Technology must not replace people, it must support them, inspire them, and enhance their work. We need global waste reduction efforts, not just flashy cleanup headlines in wealthy nations. Sustainable change comes from balance, machines and humans working together across sectors. 10. The future is still ours to shape. The Pacific garbage patch is vast, daunting, and deadly, but it is not beyond human solutions. Technology offers us hope, speed, and power, but it must be combined with wisdom and restraint. From river barriers to robots and drones, our tools are better than ever before in history. But the real solution lies in whether we choose to live differently, consume wisely, and act now. If we innovate, educate, legislate, and cooperate, there is still time to clean our seas. The next decade will decide whether the patch shrinks or swallows marine life and economies. Future generations will inherit either healing waters or a floating graveyard of neglect. Tech offers hope but it's not a magic fix. While innovative tools are making a dent in ocean plastic, the root problem still begins on land. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe for more eye-opening solutions, and share it if you believe clean oceans are worth fighting for. Solving the garbage patch isn't just a tech challenge, it's a global responsibility.